of the internet and welcome to a bit of a different video on my channel. I've had a request from, well, someone said that they were having trouble with um, the replay mod, which was Air X Zen Gaming, and I said, oh, would maybe I do a tutorial, we'll help you guys out, and then um, he replied with saying, yes, that would be completely helpful, so I thought I would do that for you. Basically, this is just Minecraft with the replay mod installed. You need Forge. Um, but yeah, if you're like me and you struggle with computer space, because I do sometimes, I haven't upgraded my hard drive. I've only got a terabyte. So it does make it hard when I'm recording. So you go into options and the replay mod um, settings, and you can turn it off for servers. You can turn it off for single player. And then you only have to turn it on for when you're actually recording, because otherwise it does end up with a lot of issues. You can turn chat off, on, whatnot, etc. Um, so that's that, and then you just play Minecraft like normal, no big deal. And then after that, you can come out here and you can go. I've never used the replay editor myself, but um, I go into replay viewer, and then as you can see, there's just a bunch of videos, and then you just hit load. Um, now that sounds very simple. Now basically you should just be able to use the WASD keys and to move around and you can see like mark whoa. So to go up, if you hit space and then I think yeah, shift to go back down. So this is how you can kind of position it. But you pretty much can fly, I don't know how far, but fairly far I think. Um but this is just from my recent video. Basically if you press T, it gives you your cursor and you can change the speed. Watch me go super fast. Go super slow. Um, if you hit T again, maybe. Uh, it can be a bit uh, kind of issuey. I've had trouble with it. There you go. Um, but yeah, so I can do this and hit. So I'm going that slow. Um, but the regular speed is one. You can fast forward in time, etc, etc. And then basically, um, what people were wondering is between the add time keyframe and add a position keyframe. Well, basically how I work it, I wait until wherever in the video that I'm wanting to start, and that's where I hit add time keyframe. Then in between all that area, I add different positions, so you just move your your kind of camera around so say we started there and then we'll put the other one here and if we speed it up and hit play and say we go oh, okay cool that's all I wanted at a time one there and then if you hit play camera path it basically then will basically from here once it starts pan around obviously this is a terrible pan because it was just a quick demonstration. Usually you'd want your character in the pen. But yeah, that's literally how simple it is. Um, if you want to add in different camera positions, it can get a little bit trickier. You don't want it to, you don't want to be adding like different camera positions every couple of minutes or anything. Like you don't want to be like this. Hold on, let's show you. And if I hit play, like that's whoa. Way too fast, way too fast. Um, but it just gives you guys a good idea of just that. Then if you go out to render, I just have it on default rendering. That's just my personal opinion. That's not my opinion, that's just my personal settings. And then I just have it on high quality, my resolution, 60 frames. And then if you hit, uh, click this, you can put your output. I'm not going to show you that because that'll just take you into my files. I've never really used the advanced settings. Um, I can turn off name tags. Could be a good idea. Up to you guys. And then you just hit render and it'll go to where you actually saved it. Um, and then basically just a few tips. Once I've done that, I delete all the parts because usually then something will be at the end. Like this is a 40 minute recording and this is how the, the bridge took about an hour and a half and it's in two separate recordings. But um, yeah, I, I cut it and then I took some shots from up here and some from when I was doing underneath the bridge and things like that. Um, but I just start completely from scratch with the time keyframes and the position keyframes. I just delete the current ones. So to delete them, you just press T to get back in and get your cursor out. And then you just hit delete. It's pretty simple. 
Um, it is very kind of confronting when you first get a hang of it, but after a while, it just becomes kind of second nature and you can just quickly do it. You can quickly get up close and figure out what your character's doing and what you want from it. So, like, here's, like, a different angle and I can hit play and see what they're doing, etc. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments below. This is a bit of a short video, but it's just a little tutorial on how to use the replay mod. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the like bucket. Bucket? Hit the like bucket. Hit the like button if you are liking what you see are seeing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.